Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to explain what we mean by the standard score, also indicated by the letter Z. What do we mean by the standard score? Well, it has something to do with the standard deviation. It's an indication of the difference from the mean in terms of standard deviations. Whew, what does that mean? Well, stay with me for a moment. Let's go back to our previous example where we're dealing with 100 randomly picked high school students shooting baskets from the free throw line. We determined that the mean or the average number of baskets made was five. And then we realized that the standard deviation after we calculated was 1.58, which means if we take this, the mean and we add one standard deviation, one sigma, we end up with five plus 1.58, which is 6.58. But let's say we want to know the area need to curve from five to seven. Well, that didn't fall quite exactly on the mean plus one sigma or the mean plus two sigma, which is further away. So instead of trying to integrate that function, and we have the function up on the board there, we don't want to do that, we have a way of getting the value for the error need to curve. But to do that, we have to have the value for the standard score, that letter Z. And it's defined as x, the random variable x, minus the mean divided by sigma. Notice that's the quantity inside the parentheses here, which is squared, which is part of the exponent of the natural number e. All right, if we then replace x minus sigma divided by, uh, x, x minus the mean divided by sigma, we get simply z. So the whole equation cannot be written as 1 over sigma times the square root of 2 pi times e to the exponent minus 1 half z squared. All right. So z is the random variable minus the mean divided by sigma. So let's calculate what it is in this case. So this is equal to, in this case, we want x to be 7. x equals 7. So we'll let x equals 7 minus the mean, which is 5, divided by the standard deviation, which is 1.58. So let's see what that's equal to. That's 2 divided by 1.58 which is 1.27 essentially to two decimal places, which is 1.27. So in this case, z equals 1.27. So what does that mean? Well, that means that the value we picked, 7, is 1.27 sigmas to the right of the mean. So the distance from there to there in terms of sigmas, this distance, which is z, which is 1.27 sigmas away. And that will then enable us to calculate the area on the curve. Once we know how far the point that we picked away from the mean is that far away in terms of how many sigmas that is. Because once we know it in terms of sigmas, we can then go look up on a table to get the value for the area on the curve. And we'll show you, of course, how to do that. But at least at this point, you know how to calculate the standard score, which is simply the number of sigmas away from the mean for the point that we picked to see what the probability is that the results will be between the mean and the point that we picked. And that is how it's done. Do you remember this? Uh. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.